In this video, we're gonna be comparing several different heart rate monitors from chest straps to armbands, and of course, wrist-based systems like this. We'll be taking a look at data to see which is the most accurate, and I'm also gonna be reviewing the Cuspo H9Z and HW9 chest strap and armband heart rate monitors as well. So are these budget heart rate monitors accurate and are they worth it? And is there maybe a new king in town when it comes to accuracy? Let's take a look. Well, hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. First, I'm gonna let you know that Cuspo did send both the H9Z and the HW9 heart rate monitors to me to review. They're not gonna see this footage ahead of time. I'm not telling them anything. I'm just gonna post it. They'll see my thoughts the same time you do and I will give the complete honest opinion. Well, before we dive into all the data, let's first take a look at the Cuspo armbands. We have the H9Z chest strap and the HW9 armband. They're both very similar in features. However, really the main difference is that one you wear around your chest, the other you wear around your bicep generally, or maybe your forearm. When you open the box of the HW9 armband, inside you get the HW9 sensor, one band for wearing around the bicep and a smaller band for wearing on the forearm. You also get a magnetic charger and a quick start guide. The HW9 sensor measures in at 1.6 inches by 1.3 inches by 0.4 inches thick. I gotta say it is just a little bit thicker than in my Koros armband and maybe just a little bit wider as well. However, it is shorter in length. As for the weight of the HW9 sensor with the bicep armband, I threw it on the scale weighed in at 20 grams, whereas the Koros armband sensor weighed in at 19 grams. The HW9 sensor utilizes two green LEDs and one photo detector for heart rate detection. This really is not optimal, it's not ideal. Most newer heart rate sensors out there, whether it's a wrist-based system or even like this Koros armband here, have five five LEDs and generally four or more photo detectors. So the technology in the Cuspo HW9 seems to be a little older, maybe a little outdated. However, is it accurate? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. But first, this armband here, wearing it, you really don't feel like you're wearing the band. You don't notice it. It is very stretchy, very comfortable. There's a small piece of Velcro here to put it on and off if you need to, other than just sliding it on the arm. Honestly, I gotta say, it's quite a bit more comfortable than the Koros armband. This one is stretchy as well. Uh, it's just not as comfortable. It's just, this one just feels better on the arm. Battery life on the HW9 is reportedly 35 hours. Like I said, it is rechargeable and it is a lithium ion 90 milliamp battery. It does not take long to charge. Honestly, I've only charged this once since I've had it now for a couple of months and uh, it still has like 70% battery left on it. So the battery does last quite a while. As for the price of the Cuspo HW9 armband, right now it retails for 59 US dollars. However, if you order from Amazon right now, as of the time of this filming, there is a $15 coupon. So that's a pretty darn good deal on this armband. As for the H9Z chest strap, once you open it up inside the box, you get the H9Z sensor, charger and charging cable, chest strap, and the quick start guide. As for the H9Z sensor, it measures in at one inch wide by 2.3 inches long by 0.4 inches thick. The H9Z sensor does seem to be a little bit smaller than the Polar H10, both in width and length and in thickness as well. So a little bit of weight savings there. As for the weight of the H9Z with the chest strap, it weighed in at 42 grams. Whereas the weight of the Polar H10 with the strap weighed in at 59 grams. So it is about 17 grams heavier than the H9Z. The strap of the H9Z appears to be very similar in design to the Polar. Has those same type of contact patches for that heart rate detection. It is a fairly comfortable chest strap to wear. It is, you know, pretty stretchy. It's adjustable. There's a little thing on the side to slide it on and off pretty easily as well. For a chest strap, it's pretty comfortable. The battery life of the H9Z is reportedly 50 hours, which is really quite good. It is a rechargeable 70 milliamp lithium ion battery. Charging again took no time at all. Honestly, just like the HW9, I've only charged this once when I first got it, and I've had it for several months, and it still has a lot of battery life left, so I think this battery will last probably close to that reported 50 hours. Well, the H9Z chest strap retails for $49. However, just like that HW9, if you order it from Amazon, there is a $15 coupon which will save you a good bit of money and make this a pretty darn good deal. Well, as for the usage of the HW9 armband, there is only one button. All you do is hold it down for a few seconds and it turns on. Very simple, you can see it light up like that and it's on and then it starts to pair to your watch. The H9Z chest strap does not have any buttons whatsoever. In order to turn it on, all you need to do is take this sensor, hook it into the band like that, 
and then wear it. And once that heart rate starts being detected, it'll pair with your watch as well. Both the H9Z and the HW9 sensors here both have a color changing LED. And the way this works is that color is coded to a heart rate zone. So in theory, you don't even have to pair this to a watch, a phone, or any type of device. And you could just, you know, look at your arm or if you want to look down at your chest, I guess, and you can see that LED to know which heart rate zone you're in. Both of these devices also pair to the Cuspo Ride app or the Heart Tool app if you want to use that instead of a watch. And that'll provide you real-time display of your heart rate data during an activity. However, it should be noted that both of these devices have no internal storage, so you cannot wear this on an activity without a watch or a phone paired app and then transfer it later. It's not going to work like that. It has to be a real-time display of your activity either through a watch or through an app. Both devices do pair with Bluetooth and AMP Plus technology, which is really good considering the Koros device is only Bluetooth. You cannot pair this via AMP Plus. So that's one uh, plus one for these guys right here. And also just to note, both of these devices can be paired simultaneously to two devices via Bluetooth. So you could pair it to a watch or a bike computer a Zwift sensor or something like that. Both devices are IP67 waterproof, which is more than enough for sweat or a little bit of rain while you're out running or riding a bike, whatever. However, both are not suitable for swimming. They just don't transmit that data through the water for some reason. Okay, so now let's take a look at the data and see how these two, you know, cheaper budget type heart rate systems compare to, you know, the, the usuals, the Polar H10, the, the Koros uh, armband here, and my Apple Watch Ultra 2. I have done lots of testing over the last several months, and one thing I have found repeatedly in all the tests is the results were the same as far as which ones I thought were more accurate. All right, first up, let's take a look at a run where I was wearing the Cuspo H9Z, the Polar H10 chest straps, as well as the uh, Koros armband and the Cuspo HW9 armband. All of these were paired to separate watches. I had four different Koros watches that they were all paired to. One was on this wrist, one was on this wrist, and then the other two watches were in a waist belt, one on either side of my hips. After all of my tests, based off of my data, I think I can definitively say the Cuspo H9Z picked up that data just a little bit quicker. Take a look at the data. You can see that the heart rate fluctuation seemed to be picked up the quickest with the Polar H10 chest strap just a little bit behind that. However, it should be noted that both did appear to be very accurate overall. One just seemed to pick up that data just a little bit quicker, and that was the Cuspo H9Z. On the same run, we can clearly see as well that the Koros armband with the five LEDs and four photo detectors picked up that heart rate just a little bit quicker than the Cuspo with the uh, two LEDs and the one photo detector, which really is not a surprise. I was kind of expecting that. In this next example, I tested the Cuspo HW9 the Koros armband, as well as the Cuspo H9Z chest strap to the Apple Watch Ultra 2. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 is widely considered to be one of the more accurate wrist-based systems on the market. Well, the results of the test are probably what you would expect. The H9Z chest strap was the most accurate. It picked up those fluctuations in heart rate the quickest, and therefore is, you know, in my opinion, the most accurate of those four tested. Right behind that was the Koros armband. Again, those five LEDs and four photo detectors are a little superior to the uh, maybe outdated technology in this HW9. And then bringing up the rear was the Apple Watch Ultra 2. So overall, no surprises in my testing. We all know that heart rate sensors on the chest are gonna be the most accurate, followed by armbands and wrist-based sensors. However, what was surprising to me was that the Cuspo H9Z chest strap here which is uh, $49 and $40 less than the Polar H10 was more accurate. And this was repeated in multiple testings. I saw the same data. This picked up the data quicker, whether it was doing threshold intervals, uh, strides, or just some hill work. I repeatedly saw the fluctuations in the heart rate quicker with the H9Z chest strap. Well, I hope this was helpful to you in your search for a heart rate sensor, whether that's a chest strap or an armband or a wrist system for that matter. They're all pretty accurate. But if you want the most accurate data, then you really do need to get a chest strap. And I can highly recommend the Cuspo H9Z at $49. That's a steal of a deal. So if this was helpful to you, please don't forget to scroll down, give the video a thumbs up, give it a like. It really does help out a ton. I would really, really appreciate that. Also, I'd like to know down below in the comments if you've tried either of these heart rate sensors or either of them, let us know what you think. Uh, were they accurate like I thought or did you see some different results? And finally, don't forget that the uh, Ultra Trail Steven Boko hats are back in stock. Look below in the description. Go pick one up because they have been selling very, very quickly and I don't want you to 
miss out because they are limited quantity. Well, if you're like me and you really don't like wearing a chest strap just because of that comfort, you know, overall, it's comfortable for a chest strap but it's not that comfortable entirely, if you know what I mean. I prefer an arm-based system. So if you wanna see a pretty darn accurate arm-based system, take a look at the Koros Armband full review on your screen. Take a look at that. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.